Hello, Unit 4, Activity 1 here. Um, I want to do a quick experiment on just investigating what happens if I charge this capacitor and then add another three cell battery into the circuit. Um, what effect would adding another battery have on an already charged capacitor? So first thing I'm going to do, um, this capacitor is uncharged right now, just to verify that since you haven't seen, I'll put that resetting wire on. And by now we know what we're doing with the resetting is we're just discharging if there is any charge on there. And that happens very quickly because the, uh, the wire is like a wide fat tube. And so it's very, very quick for charges to move uh, across from one side to the other. So this capacitor is definitely discharged right now and I'm going to charge it with my three cell battery. I've got my two round bulbs so this is our standard circuit that we've seen many times over and here I go charging now and we see that the two bulbs flashed just like we're accustomed to. Um, I will uh, check on the compass in a little while, but not quite yet. Um, first, let's look at the bulb brightness. If I now add in a second three cell battery. So here, I wanna be careful that I'm getting the orientation correct. If you look at the circuit diagram in unit four, you can see that on the second three cell battery, I'm going from the positive end of one to the negative end of the other. So that's the connection I'm making here. And now when I clip onto the negative end of this battery, then let's watch and see what happens to the bulbs. Um, things we might be thinking right now, um, the capacitor is already charged, so we've seen if we, if we try to charge a charged capacitor, then nothing happens because it's already charged. So one real possibility is that connecting this will do nothing since the capacitor is already charged. Um, somebody else might be thinking, oh, but this is a stronger battery now, um, so maybe something will happen. I don't know. Um, based on what we know right now, those are both realistic possibilities. Maybe you have another possibility in mind, but let's check it out. So let's watch these bulbs. When I connect, hmm, I saw both bulbs flash on and it looked about the same as before, um, like about the same length of time, about the same brightness. And so connecting this second three cell battery seems to have moved more charge. I'm thinking seems to have moved more charge because the bulbs glowed, and so we know that the bulbs glow only when charges are moving through the filaments. Um, this is probably surprising to a lot of us. So let's try one more time. Let's try the same thing, except let's also pay attention to the compass direction. So I'm going to discharge the capacitor so we can rerun the experiment. Just to make sure. So I'm gonna rerun this experiment. And now I want us to focus on the compass needle when I make this connection, so we can think about what direction are these charges moving uh, the first time with the three cell battery and the second time when I add another three cell battery. So if we focus in on the compass, I'm going to complete and maybe if you can see the bulb also, then you can see when the bulb flashes on and when the compass turns. So I'm going to make that connection now. And I see that the compass needle briefly deflected clockwise and then went back to zero as we've seen before. 
So very briefly, there was a clockwise compass deflection. And now let's look at what happens when I add that second three cell battery. So when I add the second three cell battery, let's check out what the compass does. And the compass, when I make the connection now, oh, the compass turned again clockwise. Now we know that the compass direction uh, doesn't directly tell us is charge flowing this way or that way, um, but we do know that the compass direction is directly related to which way the charges move. And so if I saw the same clockwise deflection both times, that means that the charges must have moved in the same direction both times. Now, according to our conventional current definitions, since this is the positive terminal of this battery, then we think about conventional current as going this way through that wire. Charge is going from the positive terminal of the battery through this bulb to the positive terminal of the capacitor. Um, charge is flowing onto the positive terminal of the capacitor, onto the positive plate, I should say, of the capacitor, then pushes positive charge because we know that same signs of charge push each other apart. And even though they're not touching, that pushes positive charge off of this plate and positive charge leaving this plate is what makes it be negative. So positive charge leaves this plate, goes through this bulb, goes back to the battery. Now, when we added that second three cell battery, we saw the same direction of compass deflection. And the same direction of compass deflection is telling us that charge flowed again in the same direction. So with the three cell battery, we had charge flow from positive terminal of the battery to the pos what becomes the positive plate of the capacitor. And then charge flows from the negative plate of the capacitor back to the negative end of the battery. And with the additional battery, we get charge flow in the same direction. That is really interesting to me and is going to definitely need some follow-up. So thanks, and I'll see you later.